What's up everyone, SA Gaming here, and today we're going to be doing a video on Crab as an homage to the old Crab. So, new Crab is getting changed into this, and it is significantly worse than Crab is now. And I kind of respect that. The the Crab, how it, old Crab basically, how it is now, is just so powerful. It's like, no thoughts, head empty, you can just buy it whenever you have a big unit and it's immediately massive all you got to do is throw a meat bone on it or steak and you know you have like a 350 or whatever but if it's got steak on it you know you can hit for 20 so you got a 23 hit crab uh for basically nothing like it's it's kind of ridiculous so now with the new crab you can actually level it up and make it feel better that's another thing i don't like about crab how um the leveling up does nothing like units like that feel really bad to use especially it there's like no incentive really to level it up because you just you're fine at level one like that's all you need so giving it an incentive and making it slightly weaker like the other balance of the tier two pets is really good um but we're gonna crush it with five crabs this game like no doubt i've actually never done this before and it's mostly because it's just really easy. Crab is super powerful. And as long as you get a few crabs early with some cupcakes, like it's it's no problem at all. So, and um, crab is funny, like it is so funny. And I think with the new crab, I'm actually really excited for it. I want to do some, some pretty neat things because now you don't need to buff the crabs at all. They'll all get it at the start of battle which means you can just buff up one big unit and then they'll copy it um, then. And then you don't even need like 50, 50 health. I mean, I, I guess you probably still want it because you level two crabs will probably, probably be the way to go. Level three just seems like a bit much. Like you gotta get a lot of crabs to get level three crabs, so. But uh, level two getting 100% of the health is probably the way to do it. And now um, inversely cupcake is a lot worse because of this so like cupcake was really viable because it be or uh because crab copied the stats and now that's going to be totally changed so cupcake is definitely going to feel a whole lot worse um basically you only use cupcake when it like when it's the last turn or you just have three gold and it's there and you don't really want to waste it on three rolls like you really need to win that round or something but now it's just gonna be so much worse. Like I don't know how many how many people are realistically like gonna be looking out, be like, oh yeah, I need a cupcake. Before you could at least be like, you know, I'm going crab, so I, I gotta find cupcakes, man. But I mean, look how powerful this is. The just the two crabs that we already have, and then the the one one in stats that we're gonna get every turn from giraffe is really really powerful. Um, Cause like after you get meat on it, they're they're set. They're already massive units. For this turn, turn eight, you have a 527, which is actually a 1027 because of uh, Meat Bone. So, yeah, that's super powerful. I mean, it's very understandable why they're they're nerfing it. And I know some people are upset, be like, "Oh, well, it wasn't really that good, anyways." Eh, well, it was it was still pretty damn good, okay? <laughs> like you can't you can't knock this, like uh, especially with this rabbit cow, and then boom, instantly another 333. Like, that's, that's pretty strong. That's pretty damn strong. Throw a chili on it, like, bro. I don't know what, uh, what the enemy's supposed to do about this. And the more crabs I find, just the stronger I get. So, and it's, and I only have to win four more rounds, so it's, it's easily doable. And then, um, and then you get steak, like, steak comes into play, like, it, you can't, you can't be stopped then. And boom, we're just finding so many crabs. So definitely want to get um oh getting a plus two attack that's actually good so because we're, we're definitely going to pick up the two other crabs so the two extra attack definitely means something um you can't get it very easily unless like with a pair or something which is exactly what i find um but yeah just uh also to to mention you definitely want each crab that you buff you want to get the next one to have the highest health, so the next crab that you buy uh, will go along with that. So you don't really want to buff the old crabs that you have unless like you're feeling hella strong. So just to keep that in mind, if you do want to go for five crabs, 
Um, I don't know what other unit I want to go five of, but I'm sure there's other ones. I mean, like, you know, there's the classic penguin and monkey that you could go, but, and then I, of course I did five badgers. So maybe five seals. I wonder if that's possible. That would be really fun. Like five seals, you buy a sushi. Oh boy. Or maybe, oh, maybe I could do that on the test server. Five seals and you buy a soft cone. So each one triggers, that would be insane actually. Okay, well, now I know what I'm possibly going to do. But yeah, look how well this is working out. Even even though they had the skunk, like, we've just got four other massive guys. And this turn, all we need to do, you don't, you don't need melon with crabs unless you have, like, a big one, but we don't really. Um, and all we need to do is find one more crab, which shouldn't be too much of a problem with these rolls that I get here. But yeah, five crabs is definitely really fun to do. Um, Y'all need to do it now before before this gets changed because I think after it gets changed I don't believe it'd be possible to do it with five unless you like buffed up one crab. It'd be kind of weird But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and Like and subscribe if you like the video and you know what have a wonderful day